Hi there, um, I am going to show you a kit today. This kit is the Light the Candles kit from the Kits collection from Stampin' Up! So um, I've taken off the outer plastic wrapper and I'm just going to unbox this for you. So with our kits, you're going to get a stamp set, uh, some kind of ink, um, an ink spot. Um, sometimes, uh, I don't know of any kits right now that have it, but every once in a while for ink they'll use um, a marker. Um, so these uh, boxes are really great. Um, you can use them to carry your little crafts in if you have somewhere to go. So this is the consumables part um, and the adhesives part of the kit. I'm going to go ahead and take my paper snips. Um, you can see with the kit you also get a block for the stamps. So every kit uh, in the kits collection, um, if it has stamps in it, uh, because we do have some kits that are not stamping kits, um, every kit will have an acrylic block you can use with the stamps. So let me, I kind of like to keep uh, my supplies in this um, plastic uh, wrap. It just kind of makes like a bag. So I try to pull out the chipboard piece. Um, and then you can save the chipboard piece for other projects. So this is the card kit. Um, it makes eight cards total. So there's four each of two different designs in this kit. And um, you've got the instructions inside here. Uh, so what I want to do is just kind of walk through the instructions. Um, up here on this first panel is just sort of an abbreviated um, look at the instructions. It's telling you you're going to use the stamp spot and the block, obviously, because you're going to um, stamp. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it's got all the little individual pieces that you're going to want to put that one together. And same thing with this side over here. Um, but what I'm going to do is walk through uh, the more, uh, I don't want to say complicated, but the more complete instructions. So this panel is card one, this panel is card two. Um, also on the instructions, you can see there's a ruler um, going all the way across here. So I believe um, we've got uh, inches going this way. And then it zeroes out in the center, and I think we have centimeters going that way because um, we do have uh, this kit available in different markets. So on the back, when you are unboxing your kit, if you want to make sure that you have everything, you can see the kit components here, and it'll have a picture of all the items. So it's got um, four each of two different card bases. You should have your eight envelopes, your stamp set, your block, your spot, and then there's um, different... Uh, die cuts and everything in there. So I'm not going to go through that, but we will um, be checking that out as we put the cards together. Okay, so I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to put it out of sight for a minute while I take out the card pieces. Sorry, I didn't want that to get in the way. That'll probably be okay right there. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to just pour all this out. Like I said, if I wasn't... Um, doing a video of this, I would probably leave them in the plastic package because I like to, you know, have everything in there. You can just toss them in the box to keep them, but, you know, they sort of fly around and um, I don't want the, like, the edges of the die cuts to get all messed up. So what I'll do is, um, there's more die cuts. So we've got one, two, three, four of this card base, um, and usually the kit will tell you the coordinating colors as well. Um, at least our paper pumpkin kits do, yeah. So the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors are Coastal Cabana, which is the color of the ink spot for this, uh, Daffodil Delight, um, which is this probably um, like brighter yellow, Mango Melody, which is this orangish yellow, uh, Magenta Madness, which is going to be this kind of pink color, um, and then Night of Navy, which is a, a dark blue. Um, on camera, it might look almost black. Okay, so let's go back to that panel that I wanted to do for the first card and set that there. So anyway, as I was saying, so we've got four card bases, uh, mostly Mango Melody is that color. And then it looks like the Daffodil Delight um, envelopes. These are pre-printed uh, inside. Um, looks like those are going to coordinate with that. And then we have four of these card bases. 
um, and I don't know if I flipped those other ones over, but the card bases on the uh, inside are white, so they're not colored cardstock, they're uh, printed white cardstock. So, and then these are uh, these are, are probably um, another color that we have uh, that goes really well with Coastal Cabana and our colors is Pool Party. So these are probably more along the range of Pool Party, these envelopes. And then that's the inside of what they look like. So I'll set those over here. Um, some of these are shaker cards. Um, I don't think both of them are. Are both of them shaker cards? Let me see. Uh, I guess you could set them up as shaker cards. They're not really, um, they don't have the like inside guts, but they do have like these pieces if you wanted to sub in um, some of our adhesive strips or if these will go side to side long enough to where you could isolate um, part of the uh, the design underneath then you could um, put in some sequins or something and use those as shaker cards. So I'm trying to get these here. Um, so these are the uh, adhesive strips so they're kind of like um, our Stampin' Dimensionals but they're in strips so we've got adhesive strips for this project we have glue dots um, we have some bling here um, and then we have all the different die cuts so I'm not going to pull all these all apart I usually just pull them apart as I need them this is that Knight of Navy color that I was telling you about um, and then there are four, I believe, of these die cuts. Um, and these are going to go with uh, this pre-printed panel. So the, uh, the candles are going to go over it like that so that the color comes through. So you've got four of those and four of the pieces for underneath. And then the other um, die cut is a cake. So you've got this tie, die cut for the cake um, and then it peeks through to those colors that are pre-printed on that other one. Okay and then one more little piece that we've got is uh, these are some more little labels that you can stamp on. So now that I've gone through the, um, I was gonna say ingredients, but now that I've gone through uh, the supplies for the kit, I'm gonna set those over there. Um, you can use the ink spot if you want. I tend to, because I have the full color ink pads, I tend to pull out the full color ink pads and use those. Um, so you can pull those out if you want. Another thing that I do is um, I tend to use the blocks that are uh, the retail blocks um, from Stampin' Up. So this is a block that's size D. Um, the block that comes with the kit is also size D, but it is a little bit different. It's a little bit thinner. Um, so you don't have those ridges to hold your fingers on. Um, it's not going to be as important on this because you're going to put your, um, your stamps on there and then you're going to take your ink spot to the stamp. Um, whereas if you're using a full size ink pad and you have your image on a block, um, you're going to be taking usually the image to the ink pad and in that case um, you're going to want those ridges to kind of help protect your fingers from uh, getting the ink on them. So um, I will set this aside. I will tell you when I open my ink spots there's a perforated line right here but it's often not in line with where the seam is for the top and bottom of the ink spot. So I generally will open up my scissors and just kind of put it in that groove between the top and the bottom and slice across there. And then I leave it connected in the back so that I can open it up and it's kind of like a hinge. And so I don't, that way I don't lose the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna set that ink spot aside. Um, so everything that you need is in the kit because you've got that block and that ink spot ink spot, but like I said, I'm going to use uh, this size. Um, I was using my uh, paper snips. Um, these are handy to have, but you can use any scissors that you have around the house. You do have the adhesives, like I showed you, that um, go in that, uh, that are in that kit that work for all the cards, um, but sometimes you might want to have a little bit of extra adhesive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So any kind of liquid glue, um, this is our uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. I just have a little 
uh, shot glass that it fits in to hold it upside down so that the ink is or ink so that the glue is always at the tip and ready to go. All right, so I am going to set my ink pad over to the side here and focus on this first card. So the pictures on here, um, just to kind of, I guess, uh, give you a, a little um, idea of what the pictures are supposed to show you, um, you can see uh, there's like a rectangle here and then there's like four little dots. Those are meant to be, uh, to represent the, um, uh, what do you call them? the glue dots, the little mini glue dots right here. So it's saying on the back because it's white, so that's showing you that it's the back side. Um, you're going to want these to put these four dots. So they're talking about um, this piece. So it's the back of this piece with all of the uh, candle colors on it. So that's going to be this one. And they're saying to put four uh, mini glue dots on there. Then when you get to this next, uh, you know, and then you're going to obviously flip it over and put it on the card base. This next one, you can see these lines here. Those are going to be these adhesive um, pieces that I showed you and it's going on the back of that see-through piece and then it's showing you um, how to put your stamp on the block this hip hip hooray um, and I think that uh, happy happy birthday both of these stamps um, are longer than your block is so you're going to want to put them on across the block diagonally so that's what that's showing you there um, so you're going to stamp hip hip hooray on a long uh, piece that's a label and you're going to stamp this um, today is your day on one of those little um, like light blue ones that we saw right and then it's showing you here in step number four you take the hip hip hooray that's the long one and you're going to put um, three glue dots on the back no sorry let me look down here because there's, there's three, and these are two, these two are fairly much the same size. If you look at the picture down here that it's telling you, you know, how to put it together, there's one of those uh, Knight of Navy pieces. So the Knight of Navy piece is going to want the glue dots, because that's on the bottom, so that's going to be more flat. Then you'll put uh, one of those adhesive strips like this across the back of the Hip Hip Hooray that you stamped, and then two glue dots just up at kind of the um, top, of this today is your day because it's going to overlap that hip hip hooray just a little bit so you want the um, the adhesive up near the top and then this last step you'll see these um, uh, the little I don't know what they call them little gems little dots um, and it's showing you that you want to put one two three four five six seven so there's enough to put seven on there so they've got them it's it can be a little hard to see, but they've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the candles. And unless I miscounted or they misprinted, there's another one somewhere else and I can't see where it is. <laughs> I think that they maybe added too many because I don't see another one on there. So I think um, you've got, you'll be wanting to put them right in the middle of the center of the candle. I mean, I suppose you could put one somewhere else if you wanted, but um, usually the number that they print here is the number that you put on the card. So let me go ahead and um, I will set those uh, directions up there and then I'm just going to walk through the directions that it showed me. Okay, so I have got my card. I'm going to grab my card base. So we're working with this card base. This guy, we want the peek through piece for the candles. We want the uh, longer Knight of Navy piece that's going to get layered. Um, not the one with the pointy edges that's smaller, but the longer one. And then we want a long white label to stamp on. And then we want one of those little short light blue ones that we're going to stamp on. Okay. And then I will grab these little guys uh, to set them aside because we're going to use those. So what I like to do with my card bases is um, I'll fold them in half uh, on the score line. And then I'll see if either side, sometimes one side sticks out more than the other. And if there's a side that sticks out more than the other, I'll make that the front. 
Um, this side barely, barely probably is sticking out just a little bit farther, so I'm going to make that the front. So when I figure out where the front is, I like to take my bone folder. Um, you don't have to do this. You can use like the back of a tablespoon. You know, it's nice and smooth. Um, but I like to take my bone folder and crease this down. Um, but I like to crease it on the back because sometimes it um, makes the, I don't know if you can catch that on the camera at all, but it can make the um, cardstock like a little shiny because you kind of squished down the fibers and um, made it all smooth there. So I like to do that on the back of the card. Okay, so our next layer is going to be this guy and we're going to want to put our little mini glue dots. Um, you can use these if you want uh, or you can um, use the mini glue dots that we have uh, purchased for retail. Um, the ones for retail are a little bit easier to use because you don't have to like pick them off of here. Um, uh, and when you take these off of here, you could use your um, your scissors uh, if you want to make that go quickly. Um, some people like to, you know, just uh, poke the thing, oops, and pick it up and put it on there. Um, and then you can also take the tips of your scissors. Once it's on there, make sure it's pressed on there really well. Then you can sort of poke into the um, label backing there and just pull it to the side and it'll take that backing right off of there. And then these little guys, um, if you have a uh, lint roller, that's really uh, convenient. You can just stick all these guys on there. I'm just gonna toss them over here to the side then I'll sweep them off later. So I took the backings off of those. I want to make sure that my card is in the right direction because um, I made a card the other day and it was actually uh, backwards. So uh, this is the front of the card. It's got the opening at the bottom. So I'm going to put that sort of eyeball where the center might be. And since I'm not looking right over it, um, since the camera's here, it can be a little <laughs> difficult to get that centered just right. Okay, so the next step is we're going to put these over those candle colors, but we want to turn it over and we're going to use four of these foam adhesive strips. Okay, so I've got one on each side and there's like just barely enough room, I think, to slide this past where the, the opening is and the edge of the card. So you'll want to be kind of mindful of that when you're putting the side ones on. I did this one. And then we'll put one on the top and the bottom. And this is where I was saying if you um, take these and you actually sort of close in this area here, um, uh, you would have to put like some kind of, um, uh, like one of our window sheets, a piece of acetate. But if you put the piece of acetate, you know, glued that onto to here and then put these on, um, you could make a little shaker card out of this real easily. So, but we're just going for the simple following the instructions versions of the cards. So there's those. And then you want to just peel off the backing. Okay, peel that off. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we've got these guys. And then, excuse my head, if it pops in the frame, I'm gonna kind of look over the top so I can see where I'm lining this up. It pretty much lines up right with the, uh, that little um, the layer of white that we had there before. So, um, yeah, this is kind of annoying having these sort of stick out on the side. If you decide that you want to kind of like trim these down, um, that looks like that might be a really good idea for the two side ones, um, just so that they're skinnier. And what I would personally do if you're trimming them down is I would just take your um, scissors or your paper snips, leave it on the um, uh, adhesive backing, and just cut right down the center of it. And then, you know, you've got two little skinny pieces. So I'm going to save that so that I can use it 
for my next one. Um, but that's an idea to if you don't like having that uh, adhesive piece right there. Um, I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of see if I can push that in just a little bit. Um, that helps. And then I'll just sort of press it in on that side. There we go. That's not as bad. So it doesn't look like it's, you know, quite sticking out as much. Okay. So the rest of the card that we have is going to involve some stamping. So this layer um, is going to go underneath and we don't stamp on that. Then there's this layer. Oh, it looks like I got a package. Um, and this is going to have the hip hip hooray. So I'm going to just peel this. Uh, there's two pieces of plastic here. There's a hard piece of plastic that has the printing for what the what's on the stamps. And then there's a kind of softer, thinner piece. So I'm going to pull off the um, hip hip hooray. And when you have these photopolymer stamps, um, the flat part is going to be the part that goes um, that sticks to the block. Um, I like to sort of lay them down and um, I like to use my grid paper uh, and just sort of line it up so it's straight because there's a lot of play in the photopolymer stamps. So um, if you want it straight, then it's good to set it down um, rather than just taking it and slapping it on your block. So this one, remember, was saying that we want to mount it on there across the stamp. Um, and if I were taking my little ink spot, I would take my ink spot, um, you know, just dab that all over it to get it all inky. Um, with the photopolymer uh, stamps, um, I'm going to use my, uh, I'm using my full size ink pad. So you can kind of see through it, you know, when you get ink on all of it. Um, but what I like to do is, uh, especially the first time I'm using it, is stamp it off one time and then kind of tap it. You can hear it sort of sticky. Um, and I'll kind of, you know, rub it sideways and twist it. And that way, if there's um, any residual coating from the nonstick kind of stuff or whatever they use to, uh, you know, get these out of the molds or off the molds or whatever, then it helps take that off so that the ink doesn't bead up as much. Okay, so I can see that it is inked up. And I'm going to stamp it on here. Pardon my head. I'm just going to look over the top. Since you can see through these, they're fairly easy to line up. So that looks like it's about right. Then I'll pull that off. Another uh, warning specific to the kits. Um, the paper that is used is uh, fairly smooth. Um, so when you stamp on it, it is going to be um, a lot more likely to smear for a little bit longer. It's just going to take a little bit longer for that ink to soak in. If you want to um, help prevent yourself from doing that, find a clean space on your grid paper or scratch paper that you're stamping on. Um, make sure you don't slide the paper, but you can turn it over and just press on the back and um, that'll help sort of pull off any extra ink that may be beaded on the top. Okay, so for cleaning your stamps, um, this is not included in your kit, but I like to use my Simply Chamois. Um, the Simply Chamois is just this little foam piece. You can clean your photopolymer stamps with just water. You just um, wet this, uh, just wring it out until it's just moist, and then it just you just wipe your stamps on it and it cleans them off. Um, this is one of our cases, stamp cases. Uh, you can order a pack of four of these, and I just keep my chamois in there. Um, I live in Colorado, so it's um, dry enough here that it doesn't like it dries it out to where I probably will have to uh, wet it again, um, but I'll probably be rinsing it out anyway before I use it again. And it just it doesn't get moldy. It just kind of dries gradually. So the next piece that we're going to stamp is this one. And according to the you can choose from the different sayings, there's today is your day or wishing you a or make a wish. Um, we've got this long one that says light the candles and make a wish. There's a little one that says happy birthday to you, a little one that says birthday wishes. And then we've got some little dots and some little, I don't know what you call those little asterisk looking decoration thingies. So um, generally the uh, 
the kits uh, don't use all the stamps on the um, you know recommended way that they have the instructions to put them together. So again, this is a new stamp. I'm going to ink it up, stamp it off a few times, kind of gently rub it sideways, twist it, and then I'll ink it up again. And that helps it from being too, the ink from beating up too much. And then we'll pull that off of there. So we've got hip hip hooray, today's your day. Uh, and I like to clean off my stamps um, as soon as I can after I use them because what I do is I set them to the side and then if I end up like laying a card or something over it I'll get it inky if I don't clean it off so um, and also you know if you have cats or pets it's a good idea to take these stamps and put them back on their little piece I'm just going to put this on there for now so I don't get cat hair on it okay so that's all the stamping that we're going to do for this card and then we're just going to do the remaining assembly so this one, remember, it, it showed that we wanted um, three little glue dots on the back across it because it's going to get um, adhered straight down flat. So another tool that you can use that, again, it doesn't come in your kit, um, but it's very similar to the, you know, to your scissors. It's got this point on it. This is the take your pick tool kit. So like I was showing how to... Um, you can pick up those glue dots and take the little covers off of them. Uh, you can use the take your pick tool to do that as well. In fact, I mean, it's a little bit faster, I think. Okay, then that's gonna go on here. I'm gonna look at the, kind of have a little cheat sheet here. Put it right about there, I think, ish, and hope that's sort of straight. And then the Hip Hip Hooray gets another one of these um, long adhesive pieces all the way across it. So I'll just put that on the back there, press that down and pull off the backing. And that's going to go um, just kind of like the, the bottom of this is sort of like in the center of this Knight of Navy piece, if that makes sense. Okay, and again, before you start pressing on this, you know, you'll, you'll want to make sure that it's uh, that it's dry. Um, I'm going to press on this one because I didn't do that. Just make sure it's dry. So the Today's Your Day is going to get those glue dots. And remember, it said it wanted it, you know, kind of close to the top here. So what I'll do is um, those just right up at the top. Come here, glue dot. Turn that over. Glue dot wants to be upside down. There we go. Okay, so even though it's on the bottom on this side, it's on the top. Uh, when you flip it over to the front side. So I don't want to cover like the bottoms of the P in the hip, hip hooray. We've got this um, space right here where it's ideal to go. So I will put it there. Hip, hip hooray, today's your day. And if you want to um, get a little pressure on that. Um, you could put, you know, this piece on here before you put this onto the Knight of Davy piece, but I did it just kind of backwards. So if you want to get a little pressure underneath there so that you can press against that adhesive, you can take your bone folder and just kind of stick that under there so you can have that pressure. Okay, so now all we have left is the bling. So we've got this little bling in the kit. And again, you can use your take your pick tool, the um, I think, is it the other side of this one? Yeah, the other side of this uh, pokey piece is this little flat piece, which is kind of handy for getting under embellishments like this. Um, and then you can, come here you. It's making a liar out of me. But um, if you can get under it and then uh, just sort of take it over to the spot that you want it and slide it off. So we want to put these in the middle of the candles. So we've got 
six candles here. And then just don't press down on them until you have them in the, you know, press down on them very firmly anyway, until you have them in the spot that you want them. Okay. That one. Oh, wants to go upside down. And two more. And whoops, that one stuck to my finger. Push that one over there. Da -da -da -da. And you are all done. So this is card number one. And you can see that opens up that way. Um, if you have some stamps that say like hand stamped by, um, you might want to put that in the back. Um, the envelope that coordinates with this is right here. Um, if you wanted to decorate the envelope a little bit, um, sometimes I like to decorate the flap of it. And an easy way to um, decorate that, I don't know if I have a piece right here available, but um, this is just sticker paper. Um, but I can take a piece of uh, uh, copy paper, that's the word. And then if you look at your stamps, like I said, you've got all these different little shapes. Um, I think Knight of Navy would be kind of cool on here, but um, since the kit only has the um, Coastal Cabana, what I'm going to do is just put both of these little asterisk guys on here. And I'm going to stamp off of these a little bit. But then I'm going to just sort of stamp these on here randomly across. Okay. And then I'll do the little one across here. And then maybe we can catch the bigger one the bottom here. That's probably good enough. So by having that paper there, then I kept that part clean. Again, it's printed paper, so you'll want to be careful right after you stamp it. Uh, you know, be careful about touching it. And then when you're mailing something, you want to be mindful not to stamp stuff necessarily down here that makes them have to put like a sticker over it or whatever it's more helpful if you can sort of stamp off to the side so I'll stamp those there and then I don't know how do I want to do this then I will stamp another one there. So then you've got some like decoration on the front uh, and on the envelope and it just makes it look a little more special. You could also take that same uh, design and stamp it on the inside. Some people like to decorate the inside. So I would just put a couple of them in there and you're done with your first card. So now I'm gonna set that aside and then uh, we will switch these instructions to the second card. So remember, you get in this card, this Light the Candles kit, you get the uh, Happy Birthday to You um, card here and this Hip Hip Hooray card here. There's eight cards total, four of each design. So we finished this one. Now we're going to work on this one. All right, so I'm going to walk you through this one a little bit again. Um, so it Here's where it shows you the ink spot. It shows you what you're going to, the images you're going to ink up and what you're going to stamp them on. You're going to stamp this happy birthday to you on a little round label. The little dots are going to go uh, on the sides of that die cut piece. Um, this piece here, this is the back of it and it's going to want you to put glue dots on there. Then when you get to this piece, um, it's got a pair of scissors here. So it's telling you, um, it looks like it wants you to cut 
uh, one of these. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four of these um, adhesive strips. It's kind of under everything now. Let me see if I can pull it out of these. And so then it's got a picture of one of them that is cut in half. So it's got scissors. You can see a very like light spot between there. So you've got, um, it looks like three, four of them you're using and one of them you're cutting in half. Um, and I don't know how many they have in here, but um, they're showing that there's one here, one here and one across the top on the back of this. And that, looks like the one that you cut in half, you're putting behind these layers of the die cut. So I wouldn't use more than what they um, recommend unless you count out the adhesive strips and make sure that you have enough to do it differently if you also wanted one like across the bottom. Um, I hope that makes sense what I'm saying. So it's saying use four and it's saying cut one of them. Um, here looks like another adhesive strip and they actually have it cut in four pieces. Um, and that's just because you only want to use a quarter of that right here. So it doesn't look like you're using the rest of those um, little pieces on this card, but um, it just wants you to use a quarter of one of the adhesive strips. Um, you know, and it's possible too, um, since they have that here, I bet you could just, you know, um, eyeball a quarter off of one of the adhesive strips and go ahead and put the three quarters of that adhesive strip under here if you wanted to have that adhesive all the way around. Um, okay, and then here we've got, um, it just shows you that, you know, you put the adhesive on the back of those pieces and then there's those pieces here. So, and then again, like I was saying with this one, you flip it over and put that there. So then um, once you're done, it's got one little, uh, little bead or gem up at the top of the cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that card. That one's going to be on the Mango Melody card, and it's going to have this Daffodil Delight envelope that coordinates with it. I'll set that aside up here for now. So I'll go ahead and fold this, see if one of the sides sticks out. They're really pretty even, but this side might be sticking out just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and burnish that down. And then I didn't uh, clean off my stamps from the last time, so let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll put those back. <clears throat> um, we're going to use this cake, and I don't know if I showed you this before, um, but the candles are a little bit glittery, and then the cake is like a little bit glittery, this little under piece. So our card's going to go in this orientation. We're going to want to make sure that the opening is at the right. So we're putting it together correctly. Um, and then we're going to be working with this overlay over the cake. So the first thing that we're going to want to do on this one, we set these stamps back on here, um, is the stamping. So we've got um, this uh, happy birthday to you or the birthday wishes this is the same size, so you could choose to use that one. And then we're also going to be using these little dots here. And again, when you're doing this on your own, you can, you know, uh, interchange these instead of the dots. If you wanted to use little asterisk things, you could do that. So I'm gonna do one at a time here. I've got the happy birthday to you. Uh, and this is going to get stamped on this little round piece. Um, and then the dots are just gonna go on the top of the overlay. So let me go ahead and Again, I'm using my full-size uh, block and my full-size ink pad. So let me stamp off a few times and kind of twist that. And then I will stamp onto here. Happy birthday to you. And clean off that stamp with my Simply Chamois. Set it aside. And then I'm going to use these little, it's like little dots or little confetti pieces. Um, and when you're using, if you use uh, the full size ink pad, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you don't like rock it. You only want to tap the um, stamp in there. If you rock it, then you're going to get um, ink on the, uh, on the sides of it. And then if you sort of wobble your, um, 
your block, then you can end up sort of getting, you know, that kind of mess on your card. So you don't want to do that. So I'll do that. And then it had a little bit sort of down in this corner here as well. I love Coastal Cabana, it's so pretty. Okay. Um, so once again, let me clean off my stamp so I don't set something on that and make it dirty. And, okay, this is going to get uh, layered onto something. Um, it looks like it's a dark blue little one here. And then um, the other pieces that we're going to want later, is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay, so the first step that we have is to put some glue dots on this little stinker here. I'm going to close my ink pad so I don't stick my hand in it. Um, and like I said, I just end up using my fingernails a lot of time just to grab these off of there and stick them on there really quick. Um, sometimes I like to put one in the middle too. It only shows putting like four of them on, but I'll stick one of them in the middle. Oops, that one came undone. All right, let's get the tops off of these little critters. And like I said, if you have a uh, lint roller or something like that, or some masking tape that you can put up, you know, a uh, sticky side up on your desk, then you can just stick those things to it. So make sure, again, before you put the front of your card on, that um, you have the opening at the right. And then we'll just set that on there. And then, I don't know why it's sort of bowing. That's interesting. Um, so if yours does that, you could take some more adhesive dots and put them over on that side where it seems like it's sort of sticking up or bowing up. Come here, you. Now I was able to pull that off, uh, number one, because this paper is a little bit coated, so it's a little bit smooth and slick. And number two, because I hadn't really pressed down uh, really firmly uh, with my dots yet. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that. Um, in cases like this where I you know, have pressed down, um, what I have done with the dots is I will um, take the uh, top off of it. It's easier on our retail ones this one just kind of rolled up. But if you can get the, just the top off of the glue dot, um, I'm trying to, doesn't help when my thumb is messed up, but, um, and then you've got this glue dot, it's really thin. And so uh, you could use like the tip of your, take your pick tool, or I like to use the tip of my scissors then you can just place it under wherever you want it and then do that. So don't worry if you didn't, you know, manage to get everything stuck down that you wanted to, there's still ways that you can uh, take care of that afterwards. Okay, so the other thing that we're gonna wanna do is put this on. And this is where, I remember it was telling us we're gonna wanna take um, four of these guys. So let me pull four of these off. And then one of them we're gonna to wanna to cut in half. So I'll go ahead and cut that one in half right now. And you see these, um, like these thicker lines right here and right here. Um, you can put them uh, right there and right there, or you could put it at the top. I think I'm gonna put it at the top and the bottom, just so it has kind of a little bit of spacing there. And then it had three of them on the side. You don't have to put it like right at the side, but over at the side-ish. Um, and then honestly, I'm just gonna do this one in half. I don't think you need a whole one up at the top and bottom. 
And then that way, instead of just having three, um, I've got that extra piece down at the bottom. Okay, we'll take the liners off of the back of these. Yep, I'm just making a huge mess here. This one is the only one left. Okay, and then just like the other card, we're going to want to kind of line this up right over the top. And just gently press that down. That's a cute little card. And then all we have is the greeting. Um, on their card, they have the greeting over here. Honestly, I feel like this is like a, a huge white space up here, so I might put my greeting up here. Um, on the instructions, it has you putting two glue dots on the back of this little Knight of Navy banner. And then this is where it said to, oops, squish that one. It said to use basically a quarter of one of these strips. So I'll just kind of guesstimate a quarter of that. To go on the back of here. So we get the little backings off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stick this onto. Let's see. So you want to see where it says happy birthday to you. It's probably better if you have this going like the same, you know, like across as the words. So I'll put that there. And I'm going to go ahead, I would set this down, but I already exposed the adhesive on there. So if you have a, one of our silicone mats, you can uh, use that to set something down on that already has glue on it. Uh, let's see if I can line this up here. Sort of straight-ish. And then I'm just going to put this kind of hanging over the edge here. I don't know. Now I don't like it as much now that I've got it there. Now that side feels like it's all plain. But it's super plain if I don't have anything there. Gosh. Okay. So I will... I'm going to put this kind of way over. All right. I'm going to put that there. Okay. And if you want to um, support this side here, you could take that uh, a little piece of that uh, adhesive piece that you already um, trimmed and just put this under here right at the edge and then that will help support that little sticking outside there Okay, and then all we have left is the bling. So we've got one here. And that's going to go on the candle. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so that card is all done. Um, I kind of like it better up there. Probably if I had known that from the start, I might have put um, a few more uh, of those little sprinkle thingies sort of over there, but that's okay. Um, you can always look uh, too at your other stamps and see, like it says, happy birthday to you. Um, you know, we had that other stamp that said, today's your day. Um, let me show you a little trick really quick. Oh, it fell on the floor. Hang on one second. So um, sometimes you end up, like we have four of each card. We didn't use this on this card, so we have like one extra um, because there's five total of these. So you can um, look to that and, um, you know, for little extra pieces, like I could put uh, like today's your day um, down here and then that would, you know, sort of balance it out a little bit more. Or you can look at um, other pieces of your kit 
uh, where there might be, um, you know, some extra uh, pieces or extra, even the cardstock on the side. Um, like you could stamp one of these little asterisk guys um, in this color and then sort of trim him out and then um, stick him right down in that corner too. So there's a lot of little things that you can do if you um, if you want to change them around just a little bit. Uh, just look at your kit. Just make sure that you have enough pieces to do what you want to do, um, you know, all together before you start pulling in pieces, you know, from other places. That's why I was saying you could use like, you know, check and make sure what the excess is. So that is that card. And then we've got this envelope. So uh, we can do our little trick again um, with our paper and I can use the, um, I'll use the little confetti on this one since that's what we used on this card. So I'm sliding this under to protect the rest of the envelope and there's my little confetti stamp. Take my Coastal Copana ink pad and I'll just stamp. Now when you're stamping on a color, uh, the ink is not opaque. So you are going to see some of that color kind of coming through. So you can see when I'm stamping on this, it's uh, Coastal Gopana is more of um, a blue color. It does have some green to it, but um, it's much more blue than it is green. But it gets a lot greener on top of the yellow since blue and yellow combine to make green. So I've got those on there. And again, remember, this is printed. Uh, the yellow is printed onto this envelope. So be careful and don't smear it. And then again, we can just do the little front design here. And then you've got a little design there and then you could stamp in here. And you could also stamp, you know, another part of a greeting inside. Um, so you could do happy birthday out here and then stamp you know, it's your day on the inside. Um, if you were using the um, hip hip hooray, um, then you could uh, also use the today is your day. Um, you could use happy happy birthday if you used it on the other card instead of the hip hip hooray. Uh, then you could um, stamp inside, light the candles and make a wish. So, you know, check out the rest of your, um, your images and use them where you would like. All right, so that is the last one. So we've got this card here and we have this card here. So this is the Light the Candles kit. Um, if you go on to uh, my uh, blog, it's procrastinstamper.blogspot.com as you can see up there. Um, if you go to uh, the side um, of my blog, or I think maybe across the top as well, it has it, but you can go to my shop. It'll just say shop 24 seven. You can click on that or go into my store. When you go into my store, uh, there's some categories on the side. Um, if you see uh, something, I like to ju just go to, I think it says kits, um, but we have two different kinds of kits. We have the kits collection, which you can purchase um, these. At retail, we also have paper pumpkin kits. So if you click on kits, just make sure it's the kits collection. Um, otherwise, you want to click the little um, uh, the little words that say shop all, and then you'll want to go to the section that says kits dash collection, and that's where you'll find light the candles. Um, sometimes they will not be available. Um, light the candles is a really popular kit. Um, I think it's gone through at least one restocking now. Uh, but if you see it there, um, uh, if it doesn't show up at all, then it won't be restocked. Um, and if you do see it, it says currently unavailable, that means that uh, they are going to be restocking it. So if you are wanting that kit and you can't see it in there, um, let me know. I do have a few extras and also, um, if it is currently unavailable and you're just wondering when it might be back in, then I can, um, sometimes they'll let us know when they expect the restocking of that. So, um, or I can just keep an eye on it and uh, shoot you an email when that's ready. <clears throat> so 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, again, like I said, this is the Light the Candles kit. Um, if you uh, purchase this kit from me, I do have uh, some alternate ideas uh, using the stamp set, um, using the kit itself, making alternate cards. Uh, but I have no guarantee that if you do make alternate cards that you're going to have enough supplies left to make them the way the instructions say. So uh, you'll want to keep that in mind. Um, and then I, think, I guess the last thing is uh, if you want to sign up for my email list, I will put that uh, underneath this video. Um, when you're on my email list, you get uh, news for when new kit collections are released. Um, I try to put some tips in there. Uh, there's also host codes that you can order with and you can get like special bonus gifts and things from me. So um, it's definitely worth it to sign up for that mailing list. So again, thank you for watching and happy stamping.